and federal health officials are getting the word out that as kids head back to school, it's critical they get their routine vaccinations, especially to protect against diseases like measles. Bradley Blackburn has more on this. Parents like Erica Grand Prix want what's best for their kids. We are our little one's only defense against everything in the world, right? Introduction to everything good and protection against anything dangerous. So hearing about cases of measles in her home state of Minnesota is a concern. The talk about it, you know, I've read it in the news over the last few years. Every time you're like, really? I, I thought this was gone. I thought this was something of the past. There have been more than 200 cases of measles reported in 27 jurisdictions this year, more than triple the number of cases reported last year. Most are among children under five years old who were not vaccinated or their vaccination status is unknown. We are seeing more cases of measles um, and that is because measles is very contagious. It's one of the most contagious viruses that are out there, but we have a way to protect ourselves and we want to make sure everyone is getting their vaccination. New CDC data shows among children born from 1994 through 2023, about 500 million cases of illness, 32 million hospitalizations, and 1,129,000 deaths will have been prevented through routine childhood vaccinations. I'm traveling around the country reminding folks uh, ahead of going back to school, make sure your kiddos are up to date on their measles vaccine as well as polio and others. It's our best defense against some of these serious illnesses. CDC Director Dr. Mandy Cohen says while we did see some children fall behind on vaccinations during the pandemic, they are now catching up. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Well, earlier this year, a CBS News investigation identified at least 8,500 schools where measles vaccination rates among kindergartners are below 95 percent, which is the threshold that the CDC says is crucial for protecting communities from this disease.